My name is Edmond Yakani, Executive Director of SEPO, one of the civil society delegates to the Nairobi Peace Talks between the government and the opposition parties that are non-signatory to the revitalized peace agreement. I would like to take this opportunity to update the citizen today, all the heads of the delegation and the members of the delegations, namely government, opposition and civil society, are engaged in reviewing the report that was handed over to them by the Kenyan mediation. The report focused on providing options and definition of problems and solutions on the thematic areas of political governance, economic and social issues, security and justice. The report is very impressive. We are happy that in 21 days in Nairobi, we are able to come with a product that will be signed as a report that it inform strategies, methodologies, and approaches for implementing the pending task of the revitalized peace agreement in line with the declaration of principle in Rome. And this process or these particular results were not being scored when the parties in terms of the government and the opposition are holding the peace talks in Rome for the last four years. They couldn't deliver something that is tangible like what we are able to deliver in 21 days in Nairobi. And this shows the importance of having civil society sitting directly in the mediation table. So my message to citizens is that we are impressed that we are progressing well. We hope Nairobi will generate a momentum where our political leaders at their different political divide position will reach consensus to provide peace and stability to the country. But also today, the foreign minister of Norway will meet with us as a delegate of various delegations. So we're going to go for the meeting hall where us, civil society, government delegation, and opposition delegations will listen to the Minister of Foreign Affairs for the government of Norway. This is a very good indicator that now we have seen in coming in of international community in terms of um, whether they come bilateral or they come as an entity, at least international community are now embracing the Nairobi peace process. So we are impressed that now we're witnessing international community coming to us here. And the first one is now the Minister of Foreign Affairs for Norway addressing us, South Sudanese, at our various capacity. And the address will be much more focusing of seeking us or asking us, South Sudanese, to provide, to compromise for peace and stability in our country. Thank you very much.